Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge, and today we're going to talk about illumination. We're going to talk about white lights and how important they are, not only for your everyday carry, but for your home defense gun as well. So let's get started. If you carry a gun for self-defense, one of the most important things that you can use to supplement that is an addition of a white light. If you're carrying a handgun every day, you're going to want to carry a white light with you. Very important. If we look at firearms handling rule number four, and there are only four of them, I don't care what anybody else says, there's only four, and that one is be sure of your target and what's beyond it. Well, the first part of that is be sure of your target. The only way to do that is to get a light source on it. If you've got to use your gun, there's a good chance it's going to take place when the sun is down. In other words, low light. So we need to be able to identify what we're going to shoot at, and more importantly than that, who we don't have to shoot as well. And the best way to do that is with a white light. Let's show you some examples of what I'm talking about. So most of us carry pistols every day, but how many of you actually carry a white light with that? How many of you actually carry a flashlight to be used in low light? Not an accusatory question, it's a simple rhetorical one. Alright, what you can use, there's many options for a good flashlight. Alright, this one is a Surefire EB2 backup. Alright, it's got two settings, it's got low and then high. Of course, if you really press it in hard, it'll go and really uh, work well. Uh, I like Surefire, they're reliable. Uh, some of you may scoff at the price and say, well, it's really expensive. Yeah, that's true, however, you won't need another flashlight. Uh, for those of you on a budget, there's another Surefire light. Uh, this is a G2, all right, this is a Surefire G2 light. Uh, this one is, I think, at, at current price, about 50 bucks, all right, and it, and it works pretty good as well. It's a simple light, okay, it's a simple flashlight, and you can, carry, you can get these for $50. I like these, they're very economical. For those of you that space is at a premium on your body, there's a smaller option than one of those Surefires, and this is a light that I've really come to like. Uh, this is a Elzetta Alpha, and you can see how small this is. I mean, the palm of your hand, it's, it's smaller than that. What I also like about this light is that it's, it goes off of one 123A battery, and this one is definitely bright as well. Uh, this one shoots out pretty far at night. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. So L, you really should consider LZ as well. It's very tough, made out of heavy-grade aluminum as well, just like the Surefire is. Another light that I really like to carry on my body is just a utility light. It's not necessarily to be using during gunfights, but it's this Streamlight Stylus. This one's very small and thin, as you can see. This one will fit in a pocket. It's got a little clip that you can just put in your pocket anyway. It's not that bright, but it's for looking at things in the dark. Like if you get home after dark and you want to try to find a lock for your door, you know, you need a light you can look at. This one's very small. This runs off of AAA batteries and they last forever. I use this light every day, literally every day. Uh, there's something that I use this light for. And uh, Streamlight Stylus is also a good option as well. For those of you that use rifles for home defense, a white light is mandatory for you, okay? It's very important that you have a white light on your rifle because if you gotta use this, you better be able to identify what you're shooting at. If you shoot somebody with a rifle, the emergency bill is gonna be pretty high if they make it to the emergency room, all right? Um, what I use here is I use a Viltor low profile mount on this AR right here and a uh, once again a Surefire light here. Um, this is the Vampire. This is an expensive light for you guys, but it does white light and IR. I use a lot of night vision stuff, but for most other people out there that don't run that stuff, that simple G2, uh, that you can fit that in this light mount as well. This will fit any one inch flashlight in diameter, this Viltor low profile. Very good mount. This is one of my favorite mounts that I use. All right, folks, last but not least, as you can see on this uh, Krebs AC-15, uh, what you can see here is a Surefire Scout light right here and an IWC uh, thorn tail mount. This pushes it way forward past the front sight. Uh, Surefire Scout light is one of the more expensive lights, but once again, it not only does white light, but it also does IR with simply a twist of the bezel right here. But guys, once again, you know, on a budget, a white light's going to solve 100% of your problems, you know. I do the night vision stuff just because it's fun, and, and I, you know, I mean, if you're just getting started out in this, that's a luxury, not a necessity, folks. So white light will solve most of your problems uh, in this country. All right, so uh, that's basically not only pistols, but rifles as well. So just some ideas for you guys for not only your everyday carry, but for your home defense guns as well. Seeing is believing, all right? And seeing people when you're actually going to shoot them is of the utmost importance. Um, guys, this is important. You see, you read about tragedies all the time because people fail to identify what they're shooting at and they want to let stress get a hold of them and then they don't bother with it and then all of a sudden they shoot somebody they don't want to shoot and then, oh my gosh, it was an accident. No, it wasn't. It was negligence. Absolute negligence if you shoot somebody that you do not want to shoot. It's negligence. It's not an accident. All right, you're absolutely negligent if you do that. So let's be smart about things, all right? Let's be smart. Let's have the right equipment. Get that white light, not only for your everyday carry, but also 
for your rifle and home defense gun as well. Folks, all the links to these things that I've shown you are in the description box below. And if you want to get some training for that pistol or rifle, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'll teach you how to do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.